I won't bore you with too many statistics, but what I wanted to talk about are the big numbers, right? Um, you know, SpaceX has changed. Um, it's game changing. Um, they have employed over 1,700 employees here in from the city of Brownsville. Seventy-one percent of our uh, of our residents work for them. Over 6,000 jobs in Cameron County. Half a million dollars in private capex investment. What I'm proud of is Texas Southwest College has provided even orbital welding for SpaceX. They created a program, we talk about Texas Southwest College being game changing. They were asked to provide a service that they really needed, and they did it. Um, Dr. Fleischman and, and Dr. Rodriguez and all their team really came when they were needed. 98% of Starship is built by our workforce. That's 98%. 2% of the Starship, which is the most powerful space rocket ever built in the history of our nation. 2% is built in Hawthorne, California. It's the Raptor engine. But 98%, if you, if you ask Elon Musk what's the most difficult part of building the Starship, it's the manufacturing. I don't know if you were able to see that report by um, uh, Leno, where he comes to Starbase and he asks Elon, what's the most hard, what's the hardest part? Sometimes we think it's the engineering of a rocket, which is difficult, right? But what it is when the production of that rocket, the manufacturing of that is hugely important. And, and really, the, the new space economy, it's not just about SpaceX, right? It's really about how we leverage that in our community. Uh, space Channel actually reports on new space and they're here at TSC. They were recruited by the Economic Development Corporation, the Greater Brownsville Centers Corporation. They actually have their studio here at TSC, and they're working on their second episode of reporting on new space companies here in, at Texas South Wales College. We have Expanding Frontiers, a nonprofit that works with entrepreneurs. We also have Space Ventures that, that provides VC money for startups. But SpaceX is not only at Starbase, SpaceX is in our city limits. There's a, there's a thought that they're not in the city, they are in the city. Um, they occupy over 100,000 square feet at our beautiful uh, Brownsville South Potter Island Airport, which was completed in 2021. It's beautiful, hope you have the chance to see it. But they invested, you know, Elon visited one of our warehouses that was 40,000, 40, 45,000 square foot warehouse. The warehouse was falling apart. And here comes Elon saying, I don't need a 200,000 square foot warehouse. I need a 45,000 square foot warehouse. I call my staff at 1030 at night. My project manager puts on his pajamas and he runs to the warehouse and opens it up at 1030 at night. Here we are, all the entourage, going to this beat-up warehouse. He looks at the warehouse and he says, that's where I want to be. He invests over a million dollars, $1.2 million, in refurbishing that warehouse. He's proud of that city-owned warehouse. We still own it. We don't, we don't sell it. We lease it. The mayor says, we're proud of you being here. Why don't you put your SpaceX logo on the top of that? So when people know and fly into Brownsville, that they know they're in Brownsville. And there, they did that. They not only did that, but they donated a flap of one of the first prototypes. So when you go to the airport and you see this flap that looks like uh, a beat up Coca-Cola can, that's SpaceX. That's one of its first prototypes. But it's not just about space. Many of you guys came from Ebridge, our Center for Entrepreneurship. That was an Art Deco building that was re renovated. We're seeing a lot of resurgence in our downtown development. There's about $18 million of investment, 25 new, new projects in downtown. You know when you're successful, when everybody starts calling you about all the construction going on downtown. But that's a good thing because that means progress. The city is building, um, spending $5 billion on water and wastewater water projects with the PUB. We also have a restaurant that was named the James Beard um, Award. Only two uh, restaurants. Michael Lemus, are you here? Congratulations. Two, only two 
bars in the state of Texas and 20 in the nation were named semi-finalists. Brownsville's changing our mall main event owned by Dave Investors. It is the highest grossing main event in the history of Dave Investors here in Brownsville. 23 million dollar investment, 30 million dollars invested in, the, in Sunrise Mall. Then now they're asking about their next investment. You're going to see a revitalization of our Sunrise Mall. But it's not just the residents of Brownsville that make our economy strong. It's the residents of Matamoros and, and the great collaboration that we have between the city of Brownsville and Matamoros. We have a 1.2 million population trade area. You know, when we talk about Brownsville and beyond, we look at ourselves as an international hub. We're very excited about 2022. We actually doubled our investment, about $425 million of investment, doubled from 2021, right after COVID. And if you have time, come visit our zoo. We finished a master plan. There's gonna be a zip line, so if you really wanna zip you can do that. Founded by the Endangered Species Act in 1971, we still have wonderful um, Dr. Birchfield. Trails are important, waterways, our historic preservation, having the beach nearby, and many miles of rivers. So I invite you to come back. And you know, we're breaking barriers. When you see these nut rankings, sometimes I always talk about the new border economy because we have a different economy. BTX Fiber is creating new tech jobs with TSC. Fiber tech jobs here. So it's not only about, you know, keeping the careers we have, but creating new careers with technology and new technologies. So with that, I don't want to speak too much. I just wanted to share a little bit about where we are and our future. So thank you and enjoy the rest of your meal.